What's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with the toy room and you guys are probably wondering what the heck you're looking at. Give me a second to explain. So this is the Samsung GX gaming monitor and this monitor is just amazing. I have so many nostalgic ties to this monitor because I grew up with this monitor. Now for years I've been wanting to track this down but just could never find one at, at thrift stores or, or anywhere. I can never find one and on eBay people want hundred dollars plus I've seen them go up into the three four hundred dollars asking prices for these things they, they are incredibly rare and hard to find and when you do find them they are overpriced well thanks to my buddy retro and rare I was watching his room tour the other day and he has one of these and he reminded me oh I, I've been wanting one of these let me just look up on eBay really quickly uh, just to see if there's any deals out on them which I figured there wasn't but I was like let me check so I found one on eBay for $75, but it was for local pickup only. And at that point, I'm like, okay, well, what are the chances that they're gonna be local to me? So what, I'm not even gonna bother. But I was like, ah, let me just check the post, right? So I checked the post, it said local pickup Hollywood, Florida. Now I'm in Plantation, Florida, which is basically, we're both in the Fort Lauderdale area. So his pickup location was actually 15, 20 minutes away from where I am. And I absolutely just, it blew my mind. I cannot believe it. He was asking for $75 or best offer. So I offered him $50. He counter offered with 65. And at that price, I could not pass this TV up. It looked to be in great shape. Uh, the only thing it was missing is the remote. And it's actually missing, there's like a little base that we'll take a look at later, which actually helps the TV kind of tilt at different angles. But I just, I just have such nostalgic ties to this TV. It's not the greatest TV in the world. It's not the biggest TV in the world uh, for retro gaming, but it's just one of the coolest, most unique and quirkiest uh, TVs that you can find out there. And you really can't find a lot of these TVs. There's maybe four listed on the internet uh, in total and now I own one of them so it's a really rare TV really cool really unique and we're gonna go ahead and take a quicker look at this TV in detail take a look at all the cool features about it and uh, j just see how this was cutting-edge technology for the year I believe 1995 is when they started making them and I believe they went into like the mid 2000s like 03 04 uh, and just see how cutting edge this technology was and how cool the features on this TV was. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Samsung GX gaming monitor. All right, you guys, so here is the Samsung GX. Now, this is one of the coolest looking TVs I've ever seen in my life. This is a CRT TV. Uh, we'll get into all the details and specs in a little bit, but as you guys saw right there in the intro, it's got this crazy feature with folding opening doors right here on the front that houses surround sound stereo speakers right here with subwoofers. Now I know the camera might be going a little all out of focus because of the glares and reflections of the TV. So just bear with me on that. But as you can see right here, we'll go ahead and turn the camera. It has built in doors with speakers that you can kind of see behind the grill here and built in subwoofers as well, which is just the craziest thing. You never see this on TVs. I mean, they may be built in, but you won't see them on like these little hinged doors right here which is just awesome so as you can see as we bring this back here as you close the doors obviously you got the Samsung GX logo right here and you got this big kind of like bubble right here that uh, houses the shape of the speakers and as well uh, kind of conforms to the shape of the CRT TV on the inside now admittedly this is not the world's biggest CRT TV this is only a 13 inch CRT but the picture on here is just phenomenal and we'll get into that a little bit later as you can probably see up here and I know the camera's going crazy uh, it says Samsung here and then we'll take a closer look at the actual button right, so you can see the button layout right here so you have the power button channel up channel down volume up volume down menu GX mode now what the GX mode is is basically like a gaming mode so all it does is kind of 
change the settings a little bit uh, to optimize the performance, the, the brightness and the contrast and whatnot for what games you're playing, which we'll take a look at that later. It really doesn't make that big of a difference and you can fine tune all the settings however you like them to your preference, but that is a setting that it has right here. So GX mode stands for gaming mode. And then you have the infrared receiver for the remote, which I mentioned before, I am missing the remote for this, but that's not a big deal. And you can see it says surround and woofer. So you have that on or off. Those lights will light up to indicate whether those are on or off. You have a GX logo right here and you have a headphone jack if I could get that in frame. You have a headphone jack right here, the GX logo is here, and you have the headphone jack uh, just in case you didn't want to disturb anybody and you wanted just to listen to the audio through a pair of headphones, you can do that, which is really, really cool. So like I mentioned before, let's go ahead. So like I mentioned out. before, it's got built-in speakers into the doors. Now, I don't know the exact specs of the speakers, but I can tell you that they are loud. They are extremely loud, and we'll take a look at that later, and they both work. With this TV, trying to find one used and having both speakers at work is very hard. This is in basically brand new condition, which I just could not believe, especially for the price that I paid for it. Now, the whole TV is done in this kind of like charcoal gray color, but it does have like little speckles of like glitter in it that's very hard to see. But as you get up close and light shines onto it, you can kind of see a little like glitter glowing effect. Now let's go ahead and turn the TV around if we can. This isn't really that heavy of a TV, but it is a very deep TV and you'll see why here in a second. All right, so as we turn the TV on its side, you can see th this thing is pretty deep right here. So that's for two reasons. One, obviously it's housing the TV on the inside, but also right back here, you see this little area that kind of protrudes off the top. That is a built-in subwoofer which is just crazy, like you don't ever see anything like this. Even back in the day, this is the only TV that I can think of that had something like this. And you have a subwoofer up here and I'll give you guys a closer look as we bring the camera up. All right, so there you go. That is the subwoofer section right there. And that is just the craziest thing to me. So such a unique, quirky design and definitely just something so 90s right there. Take a look at the inputs on the back of the TV as we kind of turn this around there we go, and that should be good so as you can see you have the inputs right here so you have the uh, tv antenna right there for obviously tv and you have the gaming mode channel uh switch right here which is basically for like nes or super nintendo that use that old like um i forget the name of the connection but they use that old connection where you'd have to go to channel three or channel four in order to get the signal to play the game uh so that's what that's for but it also has composite uh no s video or anything like that on here but it does have two inputs so that is very nice you don't see a lot of uh, TVs with multiple inputs. So that is very nice. So you have input one input two and you also have a monitor out mode Which is really cool. So you can actually uh, run component cables from here to another TV and basically just duplicate whatever's showing on this TV onto another TV. So you can, if you're playing multiplayer or something and you want to have two uh, two CRTs and kind of do like a tournament type of thing, you can actually do that, which is really, really cool. Again, you don't see that feature on a lot of TVs back in the day. So monitor out, really cool feature, great for tournaments, great for gaming and whatnot. For anybody who's like interested in like the, the item number or the specs of it and anything like that, Let's see how close right, we can there get. There we go. So here's the item number and, and the manufacturing number and all that stuff. For anybody who is interested, maybe you want to try and look this up yourself. There you go. Like right I there. mentioned before, I am missing. There's a little like round base that goes on the bottom of this. And it's hard to show off because it's on the underside. But there is a round base that goes on here. But this was missing it. And it basically gives the TV the ability to kind of tilt up and down and kind of swivel left and right at different angles. It does suck that that is missing on this because it would make uh, playing and displaying it a lot easier especially for this video but without it uh, you don't necessarily need it it just lays flat and flush with the actual surface of whatever it's standing on with these little feet right here but normally these feet would connect to the little um, adapter uh, and then you'd have the option to swivel up and down or left and right so unfortunately that's missing but it is not a deal breaker with this because you can just display it laying flat and solid like this so i've obviously gone over the entire tv with you guys so let me go get a retro system let me hook it up to this and let me show you guys how this looks sounds and plays and operates and all that good stuff so all let's right, go guys so we are running my nintendo 64 with mario kart 64 now you have to keep in mind this is a crt tv so all these lines and stuff that you're seeing on the camera is not how it looks in person this is just a camera trying to actually record record this the CRT so just keep that in mind I'm sure you guys are familiar with that let's go ahead and turn the volume up and see exactly how this sounds 
So this already right now is extremely loud and the volume is barely even up. You can see right here the volume is not up at all. I mean this thing is extremely loud. I'm just gonna let it play for a little bit. Okay or not. You can see that right there. Let's go ahead and jump into a race real quick so we can get that music going. It's got nice deep bass coming from that subwoofer. Oh man, this thing just sounds incredible. Even by modern standards, it sounds really good. So let's just go ahead and get a race started. I'm not actually going to try and race. Let me just kind of zoom in for you guys too. Now it's very hard with all the lines to really make out the clarity of the picture, but just listen to the sound. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up just a little bit. Now, this is an even 25% volume and it's already loud. For testing purposes, I do wanna turn it up all the way, but I also don't wanna blow these speakers. But I think you guys can already just kind of get a sense of how loud this actually is. Let's just turn it up just a little bit more. Yeah, this thing is crazy loud. You can actually feel the bass kind of shaking the table a little bit. So let's go ahead and try and race real quick. Now again, the picture is a little, um, you know, distorted, like I mentioned before. But looking at it in person, it's just a beautiful, beautiful looking TV. Now again, not the best on the market out there. But it definitely looks really good. And really it's the sound, it's the selling point of this TV, which to me is just as important as the video. So I'm actually gonna have to turn that down because that, that's pretty loud actually. So let's go ahead and turn that down. I got a couple more games. I got uh, Wave Race 64 and NBA Hang Time that I just kind of want to show off to give you different varieties. So let's go ahead and switch into those. All right, so jumping into Wave Race 64. Such an underrated game, but such a great game. Let's go ahead and jump into this. I really wish you didn't see all those lines and everything on the screen right here because that really just like messes with the quality of the image, but man. This is such a good looking monitor. Welcome to Sunny Beach. Oh man, I can't tell you how many hours I put into this game as a kid. So let's turn the volume up just a little bit. Listen to the sound of this engine on the speaker. Oh man, and the music in this game is too, so iconic. kind of get the idea with that so let's jump into NBA hang time and then we'll wrap this video up. Midway presents NBA hang time. All right so I just put on the GX mode to also kind of show that off. It's really hard to kind of determine exactly what changes but the colors on the TV change a little bit the audio also changes a little bit. Uh, but in my opinion, video one actually does look better. GX mode kind of darkens everything up a little bit, but it all comes down to personal preference. And like I mentioned before, you can adjust it and tune it to however you want it to be. So um, let's just show off a little bit of gameplay and then we'll wrap this up right here. I don't even remember the buttons for this particular version of the game. So let's see. Have to get 
give me a second because I don't remember the exact buttons. Okay, so that's the C buttons, that's right. So, lock. No. He couldn't hit the back side of a barn. For three! Fire! I'm probably just gonna fast forward until I do something good, to be honest. Here we go. Pippin! That was gold cool tending. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. What? No! Get him, get him, get him! Oh. I gotta make at least one. There we go. Oh, get back. Oh man, the controls of this game is it's so weird. I, I forget how weird it is playing with the oh, come on. Playing with the C buttons. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. There we go. Alright, finally I did something good. So that is pretty much it. That is the Samsung GX. I'm just going to kind of let this play in the background a little bit. But that is the Samsung GX, one of the craziest, coolest, quirkiest TVs that you'll ever see. Again, by no means is it the greatest TV in the world, greatest picture or anything, but the sound is just... Well, let me just shoot this since you're not going to steal it from me. Uh, the sound is just absolutely phenomenal. One of the best sounding TVs of all time and definitely sounds better than any normal TV from nowadays. So that is just awesome. I'm really happy to have this in my collection. I know this video is probably not going to get a bunch of views because it's just kind of a random video that nobody's looking for. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. And I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more. Oh man, and I'll see you guys next time.